off to Cape Town, South Africa next, where Mapumba talks to a winemaker who's making wines inspired by her sisters. Let's meet Vivian Kleinhans. A visit to Cape Town, the city at the tip of the continent, is an unforgettable experience. Remembered for its majestic Table Mountain, its rugged coastline, its colorful people, and for many, its delicious wines. Have you heard of the saying that sisters are making it for themselves? Well, this is exactly the case for the Brutus family. Hailing from a small town of Paternoster, about an hour away from Cape Town, these sisters are making a name for themselves in the South African wine industry. These seven sisters with unique personalities have created seven wines, each equally as unique. I'm Vivian and I'm representing the Sauvignon Blanc. You can experience a full richness of tropical flavors. I can be enjoyed with poultry, seafood or pasta. And I've got a guava and passion fruit flavor. I'm a strawberry color with berry flavor. My wine can be enjoyed with either light meal or fresh fruit. I'm Odelia. I'm a naturally sweet wine, rich in honey and with a high acid contents. I'm Dawn, I'm a semi-sweet red, I'm a medium body easy drinking wine. I'm soft, dry and well balanced with delicious chocolate, berry and plum flavours. Cattle is a dry and full bodied wine with balanced blueberry and vanilla flavours. We are biological seven sisters that grew up in Paternoster, born and bred between amongst 500 um, inhabitants. We were then evicted in 1983, where we moved to Friedenburg, stayed amongst family members. After about 20, 22 years, we came together, started a company in the wine industry, and which better way to start a company with your own family? So that is where Seven Sisters wine brand originated from, our Seven Sisters. With so much choice on offer, you're going to need to sample them all before you choose your own favorite. All that talk of wine just made me want to have a taste myself and aha, it's just a perfect spot for me to do that. Hi, come and have a seat. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Bon appétit. Thank you. Oh wow. Here we go. Oh, Enjoy. Thank you so much. Wow. Vivian does definitely test divine. Cheers. 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 Mapumba's got the divine wine, the awesome view, and the vibrant company. All he needs now is the fine cuisine to accompany it. Arno, tell me about the Seven Sisters wine. What is your opinion on it? It's a beautiful range, lots of characteristics to all of the different wines and it's very applicable to the different sisters and therefore within the range of what they have on offer you can basically pair it with any kind of food. Give me an example of how you decided which wine is going to go with the food you're preparing for us today. With the main course, although there was a variety of vegetarian seafood and red meat, I thought that the, the semi-sweet red would be a good choice. Also, I think if you have it just slightly chilled, it's actually quite great because it really brings out the beautiful flavors of the, of the red wine. And it pairs very well with the spiciness of the food. The sisters grew up in Paternoster, a small fishing village. Today, their livelihood is not the bounty of the sea, but the fruits of the soil. The reason why I approach Swatland is because we haven't got our own winery and we haven't got our own vineyards. And because of the capacity, Seven Sisters is a volume driven brand. Um, we want to make it a household name. Um, and also because they positioned close to where we come from. We formed a strategic partnership with Swatland where we purchase, we buy our grapes in. Swatland process it for us bottle it and put our um, labels on. The wines are flying off the shelves in South Africa and the US and are soon to be exported to Europe and the UK. 
I think the Seven Sisters range as a wine range has a good potential in the market to be very